today we're going to be making little DIY marbleized dishes, um, which you can make in any color, shape, or size you want for less than $1 each. I have been doing these recently just for fun. I thought they'd make a nice little gift, and I've given away about half a dozen of them. They've been super well received. I put up a post on Instagram showing some of them and asked if you guys wanted a DIY video and you did so let's jump into it but first we have to head over to michael's so i can show you how to get the best deal on oven baked clay let's go so hobby lobby and michael's both have these oven baked clay projects so i want you to skip these little ones down here that are about 250 each because that's going to get expensive fast instead go for one of the multi-packs up here that has 9 to 16 ones you can get them for about 12 dollars but both Michael's and Hobby Lobby always have a 40% off one regular price item coupon, making this about a seven to eight dollar project. You now that we're back and you have your oven baked clay in a variety of colors, you need some oven safe dishes so that we can bake the oven baked clay in. So anything that you have that is kind of earthenware, stoneware is probably going to be fine. Obviously look at the bottom and see if it's oven safe. It'll probably be printed on there. So I have these little bowls. I also have this little bowl and glass can also be stuck in the oven. So I'll use this kind of as a base for one of these nice loopy, loose edged ones. And other than that, all we need is just some sort of little knife. And you can use either a rolling pin or for years I used a bottle or a glass to use as a rolling pin. And I also, as my surface, am using one of these little cutting boards. Um, this I got at the Dollar Tree. They're two for a dollar. So wonderful. Absolutely pick them up. And some parchment paper. Let's get into it. So first we're going to choose the colors we're going to use and just cut off some appropriate amounts. I like to start with a white base, about this much, and then let's add in some purple, maybe a little bit less of that, and let's use all of that. So we have our colors and I'm liking how those are looking together. Next we're just going to roll these into snakes like you did when you were a kid. So just roll them back and forth. Once you have all of your snakes done, you want them to be about the same length. You're going to pick them up together and then kind of twist them as you would a candy cane. So just rotate, making them into one giant snake, which you're then going to roll out again, just like you did before. Once you've combined your snakes, twist it in half, and then do the same motion again. The more you twist and roll out your snake, the less concentrated the lines will get. So here is one where I didn't roll it many times, maybe just three or four. And here's one where I did a lot more rolling and folding and repeating. So this really depends on what kind of style you want. I'm gonna go ahead and stop mine here. Now to move on to the next step, I'm just gonna fold this in half, fold it in half again, and kind of squish it up into a ball. Once you've rolled it into a ball, pick your prettiest side and put it facing up on your mat. Whatever side you put facing up is going to be the top of your dish. And just use your palm to kind of flatten this. And then your rolling pin, let's just be on brand here and use Winking Al Moscato to gently roll out your design. Now you should turn it to encourage the design to go in different ways and also to your desired thickness. If you want, you can use a layer of paper here. If 
peel back your design from your cutting board. And I'd go ahead and flip it over and see if you like the bottom side better, because sometimes I do. And the clay is still very malleable here, so you can kind of like fix any little imperfections or stretch it just a little bit and decide if you want to keep going or if you're good. Now here you can decide if you want to use some sort of cutting tool to make this a perfect circle or if you want to do kind of more of a loose shape on the edge. And then I'm going to bake this on top of this in the oven for, at 225. The finishing touches on these. After you get them out of the oven, go ahead and let them cool down and then gently pop them out of your containers. You can use a finger or a small utensil to kind of pry up the sides a little bit. And if you're worried about sticking, you can put some cornstarch down, but really I don't have any issue and I haven't so far. So once you pop them out, you have a nice little bowl. And unfortunately, if you've cut them, if you use the utensil to cut them along the sides, they might have a slight raw edge like this. Now, if you like that look, you can go for it, or you can grab some just simple sandpaper and sand off any rough edges. Um, it's really easy to just sand them down, so go ahead and do that all the way around. And then I am just going to paint the edges with a little bit of gold and then use some Mod Podge to give them a nice, beautiful shine so let's do that both of these steps are optional by the way you can leave them exactly like this and they'll be super cute now when you get really advanced with this and you want to move on you can do stuff like this now I created this by printing off a picture of a monstera leaf and then cutting it out very carefully with scissors and an exacto knife and then laid it down paper side on top of this green that I mixed a lot. So this is just about 10 different kinds of greens and a little bit of black and I mixed them until they were very, very mixed and I rolled it out and then I placed it in a bowl to let it bring up the sides. Isn't that cool? The possibilities are really endless with this kind of oven bake clay stuff. You can get as creative as you want, or you can just stick with these kind of things. I really don't think you'll get sick of them. I've done about 20 now, and I've given away more than half, and it's just, it's just a lot of fun, and it's very relaxing, very zen to just like roll out and twist and twist and roll out and twist, and then you have like a cool little thing, and then you get to give it to a friend, and it's unique, and it's something you made for them, and they'll love it. They'll absolutely love it.